All right, we love this bloke too, and it's great that he can join us. Uh, I assume he's at home in Queensland. He's uh, away, it says there. Is uh, the Brisbane Lions star Mitch Robinson. G'day, Mitch. G'day, boys. Thanks for having me. Good. What do you, what do you set up there? It's pretty elaborate. What's all that about? Uh, yeah, this is my gaming, my podcast room. Um, I gave a little bit of spruce and a bit of a touch-up because I've got a bit of time on my hands now, if you didn't realise. So, um, yeah, just made it look a bit nicer and do a lot of live streaming and stuff in here. So, it's uh, pretty fun. Mitch, we've been having a bit of a discussion here and almost an argument. Can I ask you how often you're kicking your footy? And if you are, who are you kicking with? Uh, I'm kicking it with my roommate, pretty much, Kadeen Coleman. But I was listening before and I'd agree with you on the 50% thing. You'd agree? Mm. I'd agree, yeah. All right, thanks Especially for joining in us in today. The off <laughs> <laughs> in the off-season, like, the main focus for us is get our running down. Um, mm. If you've got to take a foot and have a kick anyway, like, obviously the Brisbane boys do because we're elite kickers, all of us. So <laughs> we, we, do that, we do that in the off-season. But I know for a fact the players don't do it at all. So when will you start then, Mitch? Oh, look at I've already started. We've already done... We, the thing is, like, with us, we... All the Brisbane boys, we run together, or we were, and then they kind of cut that down from whatever it was to five, and now it's to two. So we've all got footies at our house and we just have, have a kick to kick. So um, we, we run three times a week. We do our weights three times a week and we have a kick just after a run. Lloydie, apologise for Kane. Yeah. Uh, apologies. And to you. Oh, no, I'll no, apologise, but mate. I would question the professionalism <laughs> of AFL footballers uh -oh. if they're not kicking a football. Small you know, sample so I apologise to you, Kane, but I'm very, very surprised. Right, I apologise to you. Yeah. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, Mitch, Mitch, what are you doing in isolation that you wouldn't have done otherwise? Um, getting some house things done. So obviously the, my partner keeps asking me to weed down the side of the house, take the take the rubbish to the tips. I've been doing a lot of um, house cleansing. Um, that's the only thing that I wouldn't be doing, but everything else is pretty much standard. How often are you hearing from the club, like uh, Chris Fagan, the coach, or any of uh, your assistant coaches? How often are they checking in with you and your teammates? Yeah, so we've got a WhatsApp group set up, and we also have these pride, pride groups where there's about 20 of us in there, including staff and coaches. So... We jump on that and we do a bit of a Zoom call. Um, we have once a week with the coach and you know a GM and all the players and that. So um, we've got it pretty much set up so we can connect to each other every day. And we still do our wellness things. So in the morning when we get up on our running days, um, we just let them know how we're feeling mentally and how the body's feeling. So we check in with them regularly, which is um, a real positive for us. It's kind of the culture we have here and we're all looking after each other. Mitch, is there any talk about doing different types of running? There's been talk about maybe six or eight people on the bench when we do come back and play. 16Ks went down to 12Ks with 16-minute quarters. What sort of running are you doing? Um, it's pretty much the same program we did the off-season because we're not 100% sure on what the rules will be when we come back. Um, obviously, we adapted pretty well to the 16-minute um, the quarters of time on, so it's not too different, probably like five minutes a quarter, but... Um, if we keep our base up like we did before in the off-season, then we, we can run our games pretty easy. But in saying that, um, probably some more... We lost a bit of high-speed metres in that in that term. So if they put more on the bench or they, they, they scrap the rotations, then it might work in everyone's favour, really. Mitch, I just want to show you this graphic here, and uh, I know that you did see it, so let's refresh our memory. This was <laughs> uh, a list of footy's tough nuts. So if we can just get that up and have a look at this list there. <laughs> uh, there now, look, I think you'd be pretty hard-pressed to argue with any mm. of that in terms of footy's tough nuts. Uh, so you had a good look at that, Mitch, and then you responded on Twitter, <laughs> I put most of them on their ass besides Brown and Archer. Really? Yep. Yep. No, I think I would. You've got to be confident in your own abilities. And um, I feel like I throw my body around a fair bit and um, probably history shows that I can put some people on their ass, as I said. But obviously it was a bit of a bit of a clickbait trying to um, reel some people in. I didn't even have any bait. I just threw it out there and they just everyone bit. So was, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't expect Rashido to bite so hard. But um, What yeah, did he say? Funny. Well, you did get like, some bites, didn't you? Oh, what did you yeah, say? Yeah, I did. I did. Rashido said uh, he highly doubts that. And then Hodge was said challenge accepted. But I said, you know, I'm in isolation, so I can't, I can't challenge you. <laughs> Here's uh, Lukey Hodge, challenge accepted. You'd be able to do, uh, put him on his... Um, Yes, but yeah. what about Mark Rashudo? I doubt it, mate. Ooh. Straight back to you. Yeah, I didn't know he had Twitter, so it was actually pretty cool that he replied. Um, I gave him a little cheeky follow, but um, probably now I would. In his playing days, I don't think I would. He's, uh, he's a bit of a beast up bloke. <laughs> he was. What, what about boxing-wise, Mitch? If you had to line up all those players, would you say the same thing? Would you be able to beat all of them except two? Uh, probably not. I do I do know that um, Archer and Pickett throws at his hands a fair bit, so um, we'll see what happens. If, if it's prison rules, maybe. If it's uh, just boxing, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> All right, Mitch, now we uh, like to finish these interviews with uh, the final five, which is a rapid-fire question and answer session, <laughs> starting off with Kane. The TV show you're binging on? Um, it was the Netflix doco, obviously, that King Tiger, what it was Tiger called. King? Been, oh, yeah, yeah, Tiger King. I, yeah, I've been smashing that out, so I've already <laughs> finished it. Hey, Mitch, what about your cooking specialty? 
Oh, actually, did burritos the other night. So I don't cook at all. My partner mm. does. She's a beast in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> but I gave her a chop out and did some burritos, which is pretty standard. He's put chicken in a pan. So <laughs> favorite podcast at the moment? Um, probably rip through it. Uh, this guy called Mitch Robinson. He's like he's pretty well spoken and he has his own opinion. So I'd tune into that if I was you. Uh, your teammate, you miss the least. Daniel Rich, um, he's probably the reason why I asked for a trade a couple of times the last few seasons, so I don't miss him at all. <laughs> There's a lot of parents in isolation. You're one of them with two kids. What's a good tip for parents? Um, iPads. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mitch, good to catch up with well you, done. mate. And, uh, look, uh, we just can't wait to see you and the rest of the players out there on the field again. So uh, good luck in isolation. All right, thanks, Chompers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I got on you, Mitchie. He was good, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, was he? <laughs> was he good? Was he? Was he, was he was great. Seriously, Nathan, I'll tell you what, I'll just, one day I'll just, just give me, just give me one. What would you do? Oh, <laughs> just one. What just would you do? One. One punch. Yeah. Throw big custard oh, arms. Oh, mate. <laughs>